Yeah, you're not gonna outswim that. You're dead. Everybody and welcome back to Jurassic Park the game made by Telltale. This is the fourth and final episode, The Survivors. When we last left off, we had escaped in the underground maintenance tunnels to... Uh, actually, we're still in the maintenance tunnels, if I remember correctly. Uh, big... Oscar? Dude? I think his, his, I think his name was Oscar? Uh, he did. Uh, caffeine's dead. Um, Billy, uh, pointed a gun at us? It, I'm not entirely sure why. Let's go, begin episode, episode four, The Survivors. Woo! Uh, yes, I would like to start a new game, thank you. Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pie... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Yeah, but weren't you briefed on the dinosaurs? I mean, it's just, How is this significantly worse than... than Rexy? Uh. Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though! Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner. Ah, I... shut it. Uh. Anyway, but okay, is this is done. Is that what this is all about? She put you in danger? You're acting out of vendetta here? Oh, don't turn this around on me. I'm doing this for Decaf and Vargas. But, but what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? Because she... She didn't lie? What? Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! Yeah, but you're also acting like they turned the frogs gay, okay, dude? That's just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Injen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still, Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. Now, 
wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got her. <sighs> you just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. <laughs> what was that look? look? We can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Look, I know Billy is, like, being a bit emotional right now, but one, he's a professional mercenary, and we're gonna ignore that, and two, seriously, man? Huele excremento. Okay, that was... Yeah. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Peekaboo? I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Yeah. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Okay. Another vent. Locked. This door seems to be locked. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? Yes! Trauma! Trauma! Build up that Billy, trauma. We should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't. <laughs> what about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Oh my god. What if dish one leads to the other one? I don't want to get stuck at a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Okay. The tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. He's not entirely wrong. You have proven yourself to be... less than intelligent. <laughs> Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. Yes, because you are totally the type of person who would know how to pick locks. And I don't mean like hypothetically read it off the internet one time. I mean like, yeah, no, she total totally is the type of per- yeah, no. A flare kit. This might come in handy. Okay. Take the canister, bash the other lock. Take canister, bash lock. It's really choppy on OBS over here for some reason. Hey, Billy. Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. Yeah, no, that was a dumb question. <laughs> S 
search through lockers. These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes. Definitely. Oh, okay. Check lockers. Check lockers. We... No. Okay, um... I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Like, here's the thing. Most people don't really catch this, but not all of the dinosaurs um, switch sex in, uh, on Isla Nublar. Uh, literally, just the raptors are confirmed. <laughs> uh, in fact, the T-Rexes are confirmed not to uh, undergo sex change or anything like that. Literally, the only the only dinosaurs that, that did that was uh, the raptors, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> maybe, maybe another one from the books. It's been a while since I've read the books. But, um... It's a, a lot of people are like, how come there's no baby T-Rex or anything like that? It's like, yeah. Um, that in mind, I said, I've, I've actually said this for years now. If I could go back and rewrite Jurassic Park, I would make it where they were just, um... Oh, fuck. What's that word? Basically, the there are several uh, reptiles, and I think they've actually seen one bird. Definitely reptiles, though who, um, the females can, uh, give birth because of the way their, uh, their chromosomes are done, um, without a male. But the thing is, is that, um, they do acknowledge that in, like, the third Jurassic World movie, but because they did that in the third Jurassic World movie, it's stupid when they do it. <laughs> like, it's too little, too late, you made it all dumb, just so you can sell the ugliest baby raptor. I'm sorry, it's weirdly, like, in... How can I describe the baby raptor from Jurassic World 3? She's not ugly. Ugly is a strong word. It's like you took a raptor from Jurassic Park and just kind of like inflated it a little, like it was made of balloons, and then you shrunk that down. That's what it looks like. And I, I, I don't know, I just have mixed feelings about Jurassic... I say mixed feelings. I have overwhelming hatred for Jurassic World, but we're not here for that. This is before that. This is back... This was during Jurassic Park's uh, identity crisis phase. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how. I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. So if this whole trip was, like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished.
Okay. That was... Uh, okay, I'm running out of dialogue here. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should... She's right. Did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. You're not... Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? But he wasn't right. wearing dog tags. Sorry for pushing. <laughs> Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Uh, because the eggs are gonna hatch and eat him, Xenomorph style? Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are... Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find... The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to... Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. No. Damn. They're coming through the vent. Oh my god. <sighs> that wait, that just kind of blocks your ability to okay. Stitch! Hi, Stitch! They're going past the door. How many vents you got to the singular room? Something to break the lock. We'll try to make something! The air tank! What? Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! Uh, uh, where? The, the, the air tank! It's <laughs> somewhere around here. Yeah, oh my god, it's almost as if they're doing the thing I said they should have done previously. Yeah! Faster! <laughs> Noises today, aren't you? I got it. Let's go. Yeah, 
their Trudons are nasty. And I don't even know why. They don't even remotely resemble Trudons. Like, they're roughly the size of a Trudon, I guess? But, like, look at this thing. It's... It belongs in a Men in Black video game more than it does, uh, Jurassic Park. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> like, if you saw that with no context, would you think Jurassic Park? No. You would- you would think Alien Dinosaur, maybe. Seriously, just every sound effect they got in the library. <laughs> Oh no! Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. Go diagonally. We need to head towards the north. Diagonally. Staff village is inland. That's the wrong way. Go diagonally. Keep moving. Don't look back. It only slows you down. Supposed to know this. Wait, the conduit's gone. Don't stop. Wait, those are water mains. No, follow. Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be forty feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Okay. What are our options? Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Options. Okay. Actually, wait. So let me figure out where the... This thing ha this one has the most things similar. Hold up. You could just do this through basic elimination. For okay, I don't I don't know for sure. I haven't looked yet. But this one has the most similarities with the most other ones. And if you have multiple choices in school, you know what I'm talking about. Where you have, you know, hold up, uh, all of them except this one has the boxes, which means this one does not have the boxes because then you could immediately tell if it was this one if it didn't have the boxes. So, this this one, uh, the, the tanks are on the end of the right side. Well, two of them have tanks on the end on the right side. So, if you went by that, there is a chance you would mess up. Okay, well, what about the, the freaking, uh, tanks at the end? Tanks at the end? This is the only one that doesn't. So on and so forth. So the left one is the one with the most things in common. I'm gonna double check, because I'm just making an assumption. But if it's the top left one, they made, like, a very common and easy to figure out mistake for multiple choice questions. I, I it's been years since I've been to school. Like how how did you mess that up? And I notice it. Okay, which which one is the long one? There's 
The big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. So we got ladder, water pipes at the right, and it is down the way. Now, to be fair, it does look like, just looking at it, it's closer to like the medium rather than all the way down, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> what are you doing there, Jerry? Look at Jerry's head. What is he? What is he doing? There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. So we have eliminated this one. We've eliminated this one. I guess the big difference between this one and that one is that where the tanks are. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll pick this one, because this one seems to be a bit more accurate. Otherwise, I can't see the difference outside of the placement of the water tanks. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Is that you? Ow. Is that you telling me I'm wrong? Final answer. These symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does it help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. I guess even though the water tanks look like they're on the middle, we're gonna... this one. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. Okay, are you gonna actually... Okay, we can eliminate this one. Okay. Oh, I see. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Shut up. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, you're so helpful, Jess. So I'm helpful. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Yep. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? That was way long. Like, why did you make that so unnecessary? Whatever. I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. What is it?
chuck the helmet at it. Okay, what is with the scaling? They're very inconsistent on what size the dinosaurs are. Get behind me. Back, back, you demons. God, they look so doofy. Look at them. They're like if Venus flytraps got to turn into a dinosaur, but it gave up halfway. And not in a good way. can't reach his ankles just now. Oh, wait. Ah. Oh, God. Jess! Oh, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Why did he say, oh God, when she said Yoder was with them? That increases their likelihood of living. That in mind, why are there benches and lookout points when the tour is on rails? <laughs> this is not, why would they stop here? They would not stop here. They would not trust anyone outside of the tour cars. Because, you know, electrified fences and uh, whatever. Lawsuit waiting to happen doesn't matter. Uh, north. Uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Oh, can we not, game? Can we can we just not? We don't have time. Thank you. I don't know what your relationship to InGen or this island is, but we have little time. You think I do not know this, Jerry? I'm doing my best to help you and your daughter. You're right. I'm sorry. The best you can do is here, sit know? here while I bitch trees. about my history, my which doesn't make the make fuck the sense with the setting. Season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. <laughs> Enough talk. I'm done with this. I don't want to seem indifferent, but I really need to find Jess. <laughs> You're right. I'm not always so, uh, going to this, uh, talkative. Fine. Let's get moving then. <laughs> Did he even let her finish All a right, full Jerry. sentence? Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel Y'all are welcome. Hungry, I, <laughs> That's all I have to say dress. about that. Good. My dear loving viewers, you're welcome. <laughs> that is one big moon. It is about to crash into the earth. Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period <laughs> I love this. modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. 
Yeah, I don't care if this is meant to be a stop. There's no way that would work. People would immediately wander where they were not supposed to go. This is not idiot proofed at all. Anyway. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. I've actually been to one of these, like, in, in real Look, life. there's a sign over it's there. It's really cool. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Something tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Guys, you all know where this is going. Hold up. All clear. Dad! Jess. Oh, thank God. Y'all were separated for like two minutes. Because you okay? thank you are for you skipping that no, conversation I with I'm the lady. Okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean, Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is gonna be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. They're gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio. That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. That's Why right, we're doing the earlier. book plot! This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Seriously, Wait, Billy is, is, where is she so going? fucking stupid. I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it, get that elevator back up here. Billy, you're so fucking stupid. Oh, wow, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Yeah, they're not. They're mainly from the Cretaceous. Anyway, I said that earlier. Um... Well, there it is! It's just uh, more spoilers! Future me, uh, censor that spoiler. It's super obvious where it's going, though. Um... You'll see. How are you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Is this your first time to a museum? Interesting concept, living fossils. I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. Hold up, hold up. One dude is a 
veterinarian, a paleo veterinarian, who doesn't know what a horseshoe crab is, but the other chick knows what a horseshoe crab is, but laughs at the word fauna. Guys, come on. Some minor consistency here, please. Anyway. <laughs> That in mind, they straight up point out that, yeah, they probably couldn't get mosquito DNA of, like, the aquatic animals or anything like that, but... They don't address the fact that they have, uh, the upcoming, uh... Individual. Which, you know... Lives in the water? Let's see how dumbass Billy's doing. He's only... <laughs> Congratulations, I'll be Billy! Over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Congratulations, Billy! You are the dumbest Billy I know of from fiction. Information. And that is a very, very now. high bar. <laughs> I watched Grim Adventures. You, you, you did the impossible. <laughs> oh, good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, that's easy enough. And you're gonna leave that there, so we have to walk five minutes in order to read the whatever. Also, hello, everyone's favorite dolphin-flavored reptile. Huh, very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic Era as daily key codes. Okay, so the plaque for the Paleozoic Era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. Okay, Friday's code. Paleozoic, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. See, my big problem is that they won't fucking stop and let you actually look. They'll read through it, and you can kind of read it from here. But on, like, the piece of paper or whatever. Unless you're taking notes as he's talking, you're not going to get down a fucking thing he says. Uh, the freaking, uh... <sighs> I just, come on, man. Like, the issue with the puzzle should not be that I can't fucking see the info I need. Three, five, nine, point two. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Do it faster. Permian. Sounds right. Okay, best guess. This is my best guess. I'll try it at the elevator. Okay. Uh. Huh? 
I hope Jerry remembered the instructions, because I don't. Oh, there it is. Nine, two, five, one. All right, new code. Let's keep it simple. Cool, did it first try, fuck you. <laughs> hey, don't open that, are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? A cocaine! Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Look, I'm, everyone, I got I, the I elevator. I what they're working. trying to do with Billy here, but come on. About time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. <laughs> okay, Billy. I keep thinking of that cat who says Billy. Yeah, she knows that cat. Oh, jeez, get over it. Let's go, we don't got all day. He's right, we don't have all day. Hurry the fuck up. I thought you were trying to stop her before she does something stupid. Dad, my ear. What's going on? Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? Well, that's right. They think scuba diving I is like so. some some big juvenile hobby of some kind. <laughs> Imagine being so privileged. Do you think a what do criminals do? I know scuba dive. <laughs> Sorry. How out of touch God. with reality do you have to be to think that? This. this is I'm so hopefully cool. misinterpreting that those lines previously. Careful, I'll lead. Cool, look at that. I want to speak with Hammond. I love that the tile set no, was done wait. by. Can you connect me to Mr. McGuire? Or no, Peter Ludlow. Please hurry. No, look, this is Dr. Laura Oh, Swift. I have a bad I feeling about this. Park. I am still on the premises. Get me somebody. Mr. Parker, I do not need rescuing. I do not want the bombing waylaid. I want it stopped. It's locked from the inside. This is a wildlife Here's preserve. the thing, even though the second and third Jurassic Park movies take see. place they on Sorna rather than Nublar, I, there's not it's still not in movie canon at all that they blow up Nublar. It is in book canon, <laughs> but not movie canon. In fact, that's probably that's pro if you had to ask me the singular biggest difference to most people. The difference between the books in the first book and the first movie is that they do not blow up uh, the island in the movies. Uh, now, Jurassic World did a stupid and blew it up with the volcano later in a way that permanently damaged the setting on a creative level, but we're going to ignore that for now because, oh my god, I want to rant so bad about that. I'm saving it for one very angry review, though. It's gonna be a real angry one. Look at that. I think, straight up, if I was this... I don't think this is enough water to be, like, 
super pressured or whatever, and I would be slightly terrified because I have in fact seen Jaws 3D, but I would be so hyped to be in like something like this with prehistoric uh, animals and all that stuff. Sup, bitch? Um, I, th I don't know if I've said- uh, you know what? No, I don't think I have said this on stream. My survival instinct, uh, would probably go down dramatically if it meant I got to, uh, be around dinosaurs and other ex similar extinct animals. Hey, Dad! This looks like an intercom up here. What? Where? Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate! What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? No, they're already do their extinct! Do any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms. Majestic as they may be, alive as they may be, we brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under reign for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. Damn, and Skippy. We have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. Why? Why do you think that is the case? There is zero reason to think that that is the case. We've got to do something. Like what? We're stuck between two locked doors. We wouldn't be in this mess if I had killed her when I had the chance. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. Yeah, it would be this preserved, because can you imagine the Fine. amount of money the they would lose? military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling Not to a the dinosaur. mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. Plan B. Woo! I'm gonna ask you a question. It's my baby. It's my joy. It's my love. Get in here, Billy. Come on, Billy. We got some exp explaining to do. <laughs> oh, God. Pick it up already. <clears throat> yeah! Hurry up and do the lumberjack. Stand back! You're gonna get nowhere going that slow, man. Do it faster. Come on, Billy. It's a metal door. First you break through the window, and then... Well, actually, it's a metal door. You're fucked. I'm sorry, Jerry. For the sake of this island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. 
I locked the system down. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to- No, Jerry, this isn't up for debate. We oh, hey there. Show InGen Look out! <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Who designed this? Get out of the water! Oh shit! Oh, I love the deaths in this game. If there's one Damn good it. thing from this game, thinking? it is the goddamn deaths. All right, everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What? You want an I told you so? Jerry, seriously, he has you, an axe. Calm call. the fuck down. He's calling the shots at the moment. Yes, he's stupid, but so are you. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. William? Yes, sir. Wait, yes, I thought sir. you said the your US name Embassy. is Billy. Is your name Billy or Will? Follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team killed in action. Shut up, Willie. You're not even a real Bravo Billy. Team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining And before survivors. you say anything, Blue Regard. Real name. Yes, Look sir. it up. I'm from the, the South. So proceed. fuck you. 90 minutes. Also, just Understood, plain sir. Bill. What is this William shit? I feel. I, that that's what pissed me off the most is the fact your name's actually William. What you're having a heart attack, some heartburn? Seeing love and, and, and sadness oh, makes call? makes me have heartburn. Seeing love gives me heartburn. That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Why? Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? This is stupid. At least dump him at the visitor center. You don't have to no. kill him. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? Really bad writing is I'm happening. Sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I I don't understand. You're you're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you. Why? She held you at gunpoint. He at the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima! You're blowing it. No. You are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Oh, she is so stupid. Oscar, That's enough. Everyone stay back. I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! Run! Seen Jaws 3D? Oh, shit, man. Oh, he's fine now. This is fine. Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado? We're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. Oh, Jerry, Yoder left us here. 
He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh, doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. The there's canister disappeared. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look. There's diving gear. No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Where did you even go scuba diving in Dallas? It's landlocked. <laughs> I guess you could go to one of those classes and pools, but they're indicating that that's part of your your uh, mad gangsta life with scuba diving. So I assume you it was something more more uh, exotic than that. Oh come on! How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. Mad gangsta life. Do we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. Also, we're not that far down. <laughs> like, they keep talking about how we're far down, but, like, you can see we're just in a lagoon. Like, we can't on this angle, but when they showed earlier, we're not... We're just in a lagoon. Eh, whatever. It's still... Eh. wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. Pardon? Nothing. How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. I'd feel a lot better if you weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Yeah, it was Don't a dumb worry. question. We're going to get out of this. I'll be right back. Feeder program. Hatchery B, Pool 4. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. Does it matter if you got the right one? Honestly, you should That'll probably... Keep it busy. Honestly, you should probably flood in all of the hatcheries. It really doesn't matter. It will just fill them up and distract it more, though. Okay, hon. What do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers, and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you can do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Yeah, as opposed to staying here and diving and dying, okay? Jess, I I know I don't say this enough, but I love This you. will not calm her down, by Maybe the way. You seem so overbearing, but it's because Sarah got away from me. And I don't want the same thing to happen with us. No, right now, all that matters is that we get through this. Everything else, we can work that out later. It's small stuff compared to this. I just I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now, and I'm not going to leave you Your alone. Your parents are divorced. I'll be here with Why you are you surprised? No, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal. Duh. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. 
<laughs> Remember that time when you... Okay. I am too, but I know we'll make it with your help. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so, wow, how do these she things is work? all over the place. Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out. You use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? What do you Probably think? Too. Turn around. <laughs> You guys missed the harpoon gun? Why is there a harpoon gun? The only sensible weapon we've seen so far. Every every other animal gets a trank, but the Mosasaur, get the harpoon. To be fair, it's a very small harpoon. Swimming with the fishies. Wow. I don't know. That wasn't a song. Boop. Yep, we're doing it. We are a doing it. Don't just keep going. Yep. We are doing it. Wait, I just realized was that one of the models glitching out just then? Fuck. Keep going. What are you doing? Go lower. There is plenty of room to go lower. What is this scaling? Also, what am I looking at here? Use your weird yaoi hands to free her. God, this is such bad scaling. Hey man, how's it going? Yeah, you're not gonna outswim that. You're dead. Yeah, no, you're dead. See, there's the surface. Try to do it legit there. That's my fault. I should have spammed keys. It then what is the point of this emergency door give me five. Oh hey how you doing man don't eat me oh 
Oh, you're stupid. Good to know. Again with the weird scaling. Like, how big is it? It keeps changing. I guess there's more than one, but still. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, I love how it doesn't, all of a sudden, doesn't do the thing. Okay, let's do that again. Wait, how would that work? That wouldn't... But, that wouldn't... Okay, fine. Also, that door was way too small for it to get through. Look, by the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Wait, I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh. Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then, I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you, did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. He's like a shittier Tony Hawk. Ah! Nice one. Almost Like hurt. a cringier one? You know, How would you word this? it? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. You talk too much, Yoder. Are we gonna fight or have boring conversation? <laughs> what? He really no. fucked up with- Oh, come on, don't make this easy for me. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? They are worth more than your pathetic life. I would trade your life even for Oscars. No more talk. Shut up and fight. I've not even seen half of these. You really gonna go there, man? Oh. Billy! No, Billy, no! The 
cat says Bimmy. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Stop being useless. Both of you. You know, to be fair, you guys are doing great considering you guys got zapped with a shit ton of electricity that should have fried you in a second just now, but whatever. If little Tim... I... <laughs> Fuck, come on. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Is that the little thing we're fighting over? Oh, huh? What? That? What's that? I can have it? Why so generous all of a sudden? Mm. Yeah, you're supposed to fail that if it wasn't obvious. You wanna by be the, the hero? Way. Just. Yeah, I suck, but I mean, you even I'm not that bad. Deal. Do you feel that? Oh my God! Stop! You wanna make new friends? Yoder! And Nima, I don't like you. <sighs> between each action. Seriously. Hi. You're breaking the engine, I think. That's, that's the game, not me. Oh, uh, go this way. What are you doing? Go this way. Go. 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 What are you doing?
Pika, what this one thing this game did right? Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was good to make. <laughs> Not my daughter. Guys? Nima, I made a promise. I'll figure something out. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! How much did you say those embryos were worth? Yeah! yeah. Unmarked bins, baby! They're all hundreds, though, so we'll have to be very careful about distributing them. But, yeah! <laughs> This is fine. Wait, isn't the Mosasaur still out? Don't worry about it. What about the Pterosaur? Shush. It's all good. It's all good. Jurassic Park, the game by Telltale. Um, it happened. Okay. <laughs> I, oh. So, I hate to say it, but... This this game is like the perfect example of what was wrong with Telltale. Was wrong with Telltale. I don't think Telltale's not back yet. If it does come back, um, it's dead as of right now. I, I heard the rights were bought, but whatever. Telltale's biggest problem, their biggest biggest problem, is best described as them being aggressively mediocre. There is some genuinely good ideas here. There are some genuinely good threads that could have been pulled. There is some gen it is a really great setting to work with. But my god, did y'all give a shit about any of this? Because I didn't. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm going to do a review of this still. I think there's a lot to be said about it. But it's so just absolutely well like I said aggressively mediocre every single time you're thinking okay it's got something new it's got something interesting they just fucking fuck it up the characters we got corporate corporate espionage a rescue team of questionable morality and uh, re relatives of an established character and not a single one of them is particularly likable. I kind of... Jerry's okay, but my god, are they all stupid? Do they... are they all drama queens? They all have no concept of where they are and what time, you know? Won't remember you. Well, sorry. I won't remember you <laughs> either. Um... Oh, this is very much a uh, copyright claim. Future Me's definitely gonna have to replace this music. <laughs> this is just straight up Jurassic Park theme. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's 
It's definitely, definitely has so much potential. Like the dinosaurs. Okay, we get to introduce uh, three new creatures, two of which will be dinosaurs. Cool. We get off-brand raptor that kind of resembles a raptor, but not quite, and most people will think it's just a raptor. I don't even know what it is. I'll have to look it up on some Wikipedia page where some guy who thinks he knows more than me identified it without any sourcing. And then I'll be corrected in the comments when I do the review. Um, I think... Wait, what? Wait, that warning. Hold up, hold up. Wait, come back. I didn't see it. Shush. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> University of California. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks, Berkeley Museum of Paleontology. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, the, 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 we get three creatures. One of which is off-brand raptor. The other of which is another off-brand raptor. But this time, it's poisonous. Woo! And it looks like a. Alien Grey fucked its mother, and it's the result of a one-night stand, but woo! And then we get freaking Mosasaur, which is by far the best thing from this. But the, it's it's only one scene, and they quickly establish the problem with Mosasaurs and that they're limited in space. And don't get me started on fucking Jurassic World fucking stealing more ideas from previous works. Oh my fucking god. It's a curiosity. That's what it is. It's a curiosity. I don't regret playing it. I don't regret showing it off. I knew from the beginning I would want it on my channel one day. Do I enjoy it? No. Did I have fun? Not really. I I am I ever going to play this when I'm after I'm done with the review? Hell the fuck no. But that's fine. It's, I'm glad it's here. <laughs> I sound like a psycho after all that. I'll explain in finer detail in the review. Trust me, I already got plenty of plot of points I want to get to in the review if you really want to want to break down of my thoughts on things. Um, but it, actually, good chances are you came from the review, so hi. Uh, this was my step-by-step uh, -step reaction. Let's play. Hello. Uh, this is not blind, though. Usually my Let's Plays are blind. This is not blind. Um, but yeah, I... I definitely am gonna have a lot to break down, I think, and probably delete afterwards. There's a lot of thoughts that just repeat on, on their problems, but it's a curiosity. I'm glad that I was able to play it. I, I knew I would play it. It's, it's a shame that it's abandonware. I can't believe I just said that. It is a shame that this game is abandonware. Yeah. I, I think it's a shame that any game is abandonware, especially, especially this young. But, um, that's the, that's the nature of it. I say that as if I don't love abandonware to death. <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. Wow, I'm sorry. I, I said earlier I'm in dementia mode. I, that's probably true. Um, but yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm happy I played it. Do what I, did I enjoy it? Not really. Did I hate it? Hate's a strong word. Is it mediocre? Yeah. Is it aggressively mediocre? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> so yeah, um, finer details in the review. You probably came from the review, though. Hello, welcome to my Let's Play channel. I usually like the games I play, or I'm at least doing them blind in a way that's less, you know, me predicting the shit. Um... It is interesting to see what I remembered and what I forgot from this game. I could have sworn there was five episodes uh, when I kept remembering this prior to installing it. But when I installed it, I'm like, oh wait, there's only four episodes. Hold up. And then I, I looked in the scenarios and I'm like, no, no, I recognize, I recognize this scene. This is definitely the last scene. You know, so um, I was like, okay, I, I guess there is only four episodes. I, it's been like 12 seriously been over a decade. I think it's been 12 years, but it, it's definitely been at least a decade. Um, and yeah, I that was Jurassic Park the game. I'm sorry if this kind of, if, if you 
came here for nostalgia if you love this game and and I harshed your mellow or some shit like that. I'm sorry. But um I'm a very critical person. I I critique the things I love, I, in case you didn't know. So, it, honestly, me reviewing it indicates I care more about it than uh, than you would think. So, um, It's going to be a very interesting review, because I do not hate this game. I truly don't. I just don't enjoy it at all. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Alright, I'm just spinning wheels here. Um... Sorry if this came off as a downer. Um, yeah, the next game will either be a VR game that's very lighthearted or Monkey Sim, depending on what ends up getting done first. I'm probably going to go into review editing mode, though, so uh, don't expect a bunch of uh, videos for a bit, uh, especially since I want to get started on... Uh, August's review immediately afterwards, because that's going to be a relatively short rail shooter. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to just knock that out early, kind of get ahead a little. Um, and give me more time for September so I don't have to take as long as a, a gap in this channel. But yeah, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please join me next time. I hope you enjoyed this look into a very notable curiosity in the Jurassic Park history. This was smack dab in the middle of Jurassic Park's uh, identity crisis uh, phase. So um, it is interesting to see what here would end up reappearing later. Not gonna rant, not gonna rant. And so uh, thank you guys so much for coming by. Please. Join me next time. I love you. Bye. And I just broke my hand on my desk. And now for something completely different.